welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hello, everyone. I always feel a little weird just saying your name for you, but um, I guess, you know, I, we just got to know that you remember. Show. <laughs> I mean, and there's a nice little label underneath. Anyway, yeah. um, and today we are talking about the program High Speed Trains. Now, if you have not heard or seen that program, we have it all over the internet for you. <laughs> uh, you can find it at our website where you can listen and read along with the script, and that is www.spotlightenglish.com. You can also listen to it wherever you get your podcasts, um, and then pop on over to our website to read along with the script. Um, and we also have it on YouTube where you can watch the video and watch the words at the same, well, listen to the video and watch the words at the same time. Um, so you can test yourself that way. Um, so you should check out that program and then come back here, join the conversation with us about high speed trains. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's everything, right? You know, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well um, to keep in contact with us. And Adam, I know you were going to jump in uh, no, with no, this. No, 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 I'm listening very information. politely. I'm listening. <laughs> I know you were going to jump in with this bit of information, but um, if you like this video or you like Spotlight content, please just press the like button, the little thumbs up. Uh, underneath this video, it really helps us out. It helps our videos get seen in more places, helps more people find us. So like this video, and then if you wanna go that extra step, you can also subscribe uh, to our channel, never miss a video. And if you wanna go an extra, extra step. If you're serious about your yes. English learning. Yes, exactly. You can join as a member of the Spotlight English Tell channel. them what they get, Liz. Yeah, it's great. Um, you can be listed in every video as a member. So we thank you in every video. Um, you get cool badges and emojis, but then also you can get PDF scripts and access to exclusive member videos. And I have to say, um, a little while ago, we put out a video of our bloopers about when we get we never make this mistakes. program. And it was great. Um, well, I thought it was funny. And so people anyway. can go back and watch all that content, correct? Yes. Yeah, you get all of the content that is um, that exists on the for exclusive member videos. So check that out. It's really cool. It helps support us. Helps us make more cool content for you to uh, read along with and listen to and practice and learn. And so all of those things. And so. Now, let's get to this program, High Speed Trains. Yeah. Adam, were you like every other uh, little boy who loved trains so as a kid? I don't, like, I never collected toy trains. Um, mm -hmm. I my, my young memory is when we would get stopped, when we'd be driving in the car, and we uh -huh. would get stopped behind a train that was going, not a high speed train, but a regular right. train. We would always... I don't actually think we have any high-speed trains in the U.S. No. Yeah. Uh, but we would count how many cars were connected. Oh, like um, train cars. The train cars, yes. So we would yeah. say, like, was it a short train? Because you never really could tell. You know, you see the, the first car, the engine yeah. drive by, and then you'd be like, oh, I'm going to count. And I think it was my mother's way of keeping us um, occupied Quiet. <laughs> Quiet when we were in the car, not going anywhere because we couldn't, because there was a train. What about you? Did you uh, grow up well, with a love for trains? Our favorite part of that experience, because also, you know, we would we would come across trains as well, is to uh, watch for the caboose, ah. which is, of course, a very funny and fun word to say. Caboose. Uh, caboose, which is the last train of the car. So Last car uh, of the train. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the best part of the train, the caboose. The caboose. Yeah, so yeah. there was a good... Um, that is yeah, a fun I... word, isn't it? What? That is a fun word, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Like, there's just something about, like, how you form it in your mouth. Yeah. Caboose. Caboose. 
Sounds like it should be something else, but like. Well, I mean, yeah, you can use it slangily. Sl slangily, is that slangily. a word? Slangily, slang. You can slangish? use it in some slang. Yeah. Um. No, I never really. We didn't really do anything on trains. I do have a um because in the U.S., I would say that trains are not actually a common way to travel right. for most people. Um, if you're going right. to like Chicago or New York um, or other, you know, big cities, you Some might big ride. Cities, yeah, yeah. You might ride like a metro train. Um, but if we're talking about sort of trains that get you from one city to another, that's actually not a super common way to travel. Yeah. Um, but I do remember, um, you know, we are located in Michigan. And I remember as a child, my family went from uh, our city to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And it was probably a four-hour train ride or something, That's I would imagine. That's significant. It's not a fast yeah. train, but it's a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. So we went down on the train and we spent the day in the city. I think we went to the museum and then we, you know, went back. And that's an adventure. It was an adventure to be on yeah. a train. Yeah, I think when when here in the United States, like you said, if you're in a big city, you, the train is just part of your life. But if you're not in a big city and you think about the need to travel, you usually go with the car if you can make yeah. if you can drive or you think of an airplane. Um, yeah because those are both very fast. Here in the United States, we like to uh, we like to travel when we want to travel. And sometimes train schedules say, well, yeah. you only can go at this one time a day. And we're like, Bleh. I don't want yeah. that. I'm gonna drive, I would rather drive my own car or, or do something like that. Uh, yeah, we, it is true. We did a train trip from Chicago to Denver, which took about a day. Yeah. Um, but it didn't feel like a day because what I loved about the train was I wasn't responsible. Yeah, you know? that is so really nice. We could get up and move around and there was an observation car where you could look sideways out the train and see the landscape go by and see the country in a different way. And that was really that was really a um, a memorable trip. And yet here I am many, 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 many years later and I've never done it again. So I don't know how yeah. memorable it was. Yeah, there is something about like uh, that travel on a train for people who are not used to it. Um, oh, so this program is specifically about high speed trains. Yeah. So like these trains that we are talking about are, I mean, they go fast. Yes. But they don't go like hundreds no. of miles per hour or or hundreds of kilometers per hour for the rest of the world. Yeah. Um, so I think the most the most uh, well known high speed train is the Shinkansen in mm -hmm. Japan. Mm -hmm. Do you know this train? Uh, not personally, no. <clears throat> but you know of it. I have heard of. Well, I I feel like some of the high speed that I am most familiar with are the ones in France because those those are the ones that are most in like adventure movies. <laughs> <laughs> like, are those high speed trains or just trains? Uh I think that the TJV is a high speed train. Yeah, see, this is where we betray ourselves as um stupid Americans. Yeah. Spotlight <laughs> listeners, I'm I'm gonna tell you a little <laughs> secret. All we do is learn just enough to seem like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, I please, don't tell all our secrets. Please do not tell the rest of the internet that when it comes to certain things, we really have no idea. Okay, so uh, the Shinkansen, <laughs> as it says in this program, goes 200 kilometers per hour. So how fast is that in miles? Divided by 2.2, so about 100 miles an hour? Uh, over 100 miles an hour, yeah. Okay, about. 100 miles an hour. Sure. That's pretty fast. That's very fast. Yeah. Um, so I don't, where does it go to, though? Wherever it wants. I have actually been on the Shinkansen. Have you? Um, but you know how we were just talking about, like, you always remember those things? Yeah. I don't actually remember being on it. <laughs> how do you know you were on it, then? Oh, uh, because I know that we took it. Were you like? I remember, I don't remember like looking out the window. 
Oh. I guess I do. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, it was uh, it was fast enough, maybe like under a tunnel that our ears popped. And it it was going. It did feel very fast. Yeah, I I, I remember the experience of my first time I rode on a, a train. Is it felt like I was. Um, you know, the seats reminded me of being on an airplane, but all of a sudden you just start moving. There's no, you know, exits yeah. or warnings. They just go and you're like, wait, uh, I guess this is okay because you're not leaving the ground. Um, yeah, I'll, like um, there was actually, okay, so now this is where this conversation turns dark, uh -oh. right? Uh, there was actually a big train accident in the U.S., just in the last mm -hmm. week or so, maybe two yeah. weeks. Yeah, maybe um, two weeks from when. Did you hear about this? this? Yeah. So I wonder, like, um, you know, I I did not look this up before this program, but I wonder if the uh, Shinkansen has had any accidents like that. Like, is it safer? It's got to be safer than air travel. Here's my guess, and maybe is I'm it? I'm I'm. Uh going with some stereotypes that I have. So if you are if you are <laughs> Japanese and you uh, disagree with what I'm about to say, leave a comment. Tell me I am wrong. <laughs> I know that Japanese trains are very, uh, they run on schedule. They're efficient. They are very efficient. So I would guess that that efficiency extends to mm. safety and security. And so I'm going to go out on a limb and say they have never had a significant train wreck. They, I'm not saying they haven't had mechanical problems. Yeah, but I think that's like I would I would probably agree with that guess. Um, let us know in the comments. I'm sure someone uh, from Japan can can let us know. Yeah, that's true. Um, the other the other high speed train that is mentioned in this program is a maglev train, which I always think um, is so weird because mm. it's the magnetic levitation, right? Yeah. It's not actually touching any tracks. Yeah. Am I understanding this correctly? Yes, you are. Okay, so I will admit that most of what I know about a maglev train comes from <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, I anticipated some kind of science fiction <laughs> uh, reference coming. I didn't know it would be so, Black Panther. Of course, they're uh, mining vibranium deep in this mountain. <laughs> and they have a very fast mag love dream. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yep. that's, that's really factual. all I know about that's mag factual. love trains. Yeah. What? That's factual. <laughs> Well, you know. know. Um, anyway, so I guess um, if you know more about maglev trains than me. Which won't take a whole lot. Comments, tell me what this is. Um, and I would be interested if our listeners live in places where high-speed trains are common. Um, yeah. And if they've ever been on one. I know that we have some Japanese listener listeners. I would love to hear what you think about the Shinkansen. Yeah. Tell us what we've gotten it. wrong. What? Tell us what we've gotten wrong. Yeah, exactly. I would love to hear if you are from Wakanda, um, how that may <laughs> works. I'm just Wakanda kidding. forever. <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's just a joke. Uh, I know that Wakanda is not real and that Black Panther is just a movie. Um, but anyway, I would love to hear your experiences with high speed trains. Um, again, if you have not, uh, heard our program, um, about high speed trains, I encourage you to check it out. It is on our website at www.spotlightenglish.com. Uh, it is on YouTube and as a, as a video that you can watch and follow along with. And it is wherever you can get your podcasts. Um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, I think that's it. Until next time, listen, watch, practice, learn. Spotlight out. Mm -hmm.